Yeah, so uh, one thing I want to mention is, what do you think of, I know you've mentioned this in previous podcasts, but Elon Musk, what do you think? I know you, you probably get asked this all the time, but he is, he is doing, he is very much relevant in the conversation, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think he's a victim of his own um, <laughs> uh, eccentricity, um, in a way. I mean, the guy's the guy's clearly brilliant, um, and he has a lot of interesting ideas. But then at the same time, he just jacks around an awful lot. Um, mm-hmm. So, and he, he over promises and under delivers um, on some things. I mean, the spa- the stuff that he's doing with SpaceX has obviously propelled us forward in terms of um, understanding how you know um, reimagining what what space flight and 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 space transportation from a reusable point of view um uh, looks like um and then um and the tesla obviously the uh, the car uh, itself uh, you know has made huge strides forward to the point where everybody is now trying to do what he's done he's almost forced the uh, automotive industry to change overnight um and so they're all developing uh self-driving cars they're all de- developing battery operated cars as well you know so that in a sense has is, is been really good and then you have like silly projects which i don't understand like the boring project um or the flamethrower or mm-hmm. i'm going to make a robot which was his latest one you know uh, by using the the technology that i developed in the self-driving car um like in the teslas well the thing is is that the teslas don't work the way that he mm-hmm. has claimed um so that is a fundamental flaw in some of the things that he says. The boring project that he said was going to be this great, wonderful tunnel system, fully automated, etc., was a neon lit tunnel <laughs> that we've kind of seen before, and it didn't really solve anything. Um, so there's 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 kind of glimmers of hope and genius in what he does. Um, but I, I just think he, I think he gets distracted by the, the, the by being the showman sometimes, mm-hmm. um, and um, and it's a bit of a shame because I, you know, I I love and I loathe the guy for it to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I I perhaps more have I have more sympathy for him than say Richard Branson or Jeff Bezos yeah. with billionaires going to space while this pandemic is going on. I just think the the contrast between you've got the billionaire going into space while he's leaving Earth, like lost in the pandemic and um, climate change and stuff like that. I just think there's, be- there's better ways to spend your money, I-, I think, than, you know, what's the word? Fulfilling or just try, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just think it's a very, it's very attention seeking and it's very, they're vanity <sighs> projects. That's the word I'm looking for. Vanity projects. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. No, I'm not. I don't think a lot of people are looking up and thinking, "Oh, that's amazing! What an amazing guy that is." We're all just yeah. thinking, "Keep just stay up there." <laughs> you know. Well, now everybody's stopped talking about Branson. You know, going into space. I mean, that was perhaps the worst PR stunt ever, um, <laughs> yeah. and didn't do do him any favors. Let's put it that no. way. Yeah.